Well, we want to congratulate Mr. and Mrs. Harley and wish them the continuance and their marriage is going to last until eternity based on our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. This is Sandra Jerome Lane and my daughter just got married. I wish her all the love, peace, and happiness. Big sis, I'm proud of you. The choice that you made is very inspirational. Uh, hopefully I can get there one day soon. Uh, congratulations and I hope and wish both of you the best. I just want to say congratulations and I love you guys both. I wish you guys the best in life and make some babies tonight. I love you, Titi. I love you, Titi. Say congratulations. Congratulations. You're everything I hope for. You're everything I need. You this man and woman has been joined together that no man now when that word man is used it also means no woman yes, amen shall put a son so with that being said we want to get right into the ceremony I know that brother Anthony had told me that he wanted to get this over quick but <laughs> I want to do one thing before we get started uh, that's going to relieve him and I'm going to I want to ask this question is there any man who can show just cause that this man and this woman should not be joined together in holy matrimony? Let them speak now or forever hold their peace. You're free and clear, Brother Anthony. Amen? We're free to continue on with the ceremony. At this time, we want to, before we join these two people together, we want to usher in None other, other than the Lord Jesus Christ himself. He should be present in everything that we do. Amen? Amen. And whatever, whatever service we embark upon ourselves, we want the Lord Jesus Christ to be right there in the forefront. So we're going to ask uh, Elder McLaren if he was to come forward and give us a prayer before we get into our, our ceremony. Let's greet him with a hearty amen, Elder McLaren. Please raise the stand. 
Lord, you say in all our ways, acknowledge you, and you will direct our path. We are standing here today asking you for your direction, also asking you for your blessing. Amen. I put each and every one in this place, even the children. And Lord, while we're here, let us be a joyous occasion. Let your love, O oh God, continue, not only today, but continue in their lives to each and every one. Let this be an example for others, O oh God, who comes along. Let them, O oh God, stand in your presence as they go through life, face life, whether it's difficult, whether it's good time or bad time. Give them the strength to go on. Lord, they need you to guide them. They need you, Lord, to lift them up. And Lord, when we fail in our strength, we need you to give us strength to continue. Let this occasion continue in the family, their sister, their brothers, and each and every one. Oh Lord, we thank you again for your gathering. Let your will be done. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Thank you, sir. This time we have acknowledged and ushered in the presence of God. And we're preparing ourselves to give this bride away. Amen. So being that no one has come forward and said that you can't have your bride on today, amen, I'm going to ask the question, who gives this bride, this woman, in marriage today to this man? I do. The bride has been given away by the father and the brother. Amen? At this time, before the bride and the groom unite to their vows, they have a desire to uh, perform a unity ceremony, something that's going to be uh, recognized to them for the unity of their marriage. Amen? These two outside candles have been lit. They're representing your lives as they stand, as they stand in this moment of time. They are two distinct candles, each separated, each from each equal, each, each capable of going into their own separate way. But as you, as you join together in marriage, there is, this is a merging of two lights together. This is what the Lord means when He says that a man should lead his father and mother. Amen. And he should he he should husband to his wife. Amen? And that wife and husband should become one flesh. When we began this marriage ceremony, and the two candles that you're holding right today is signifying you, you two as a separate individual. But I'm now going to ask you to light the center candle together. Together. And you may blow out the end candles. This signifies that you both have been united together by this unity ceremony. And you should now from this day forward be of one mind. Your thoughts should be of one thought. Your mutual understanding should be of one mutual understanding. All decisions that you make in your household should be made together. When you think of each other, that thought should be diminished from your mind, and the only thought that should be is we, not me. Amen? Amen. The unity means that you're all, that you have been joined together as one identity, as you will be in marriage. Amen? Amen. If we'll step back into our positions. I'll ask you for the last time. This is the last time you'll get the opportunity to say no. Are you ready to be united in holy matrimony on today? Yes. Who has the ring? I want to ask the best man that he will give the Bride's ring to the groom. And the groom's ring to the bride. 
Amen. With this opportunity of being wedded together, take a moment to look each other deep in the eyes as you proclaim love to one another and eternity. Amen? Amen. Brother Anthony, if it's your desire to take this woman as your wife, please repeat after me. Staring her deep in her eyes. I, Anthony Holly, I, Anthony Holly, take thee, Cynthia Willington, Willingham, take thee, Cynthia Willingham, to be my Lawful wedded wife. To be my lawful wedded wife. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. For richer or poor. For richer and poor. And richer than in health. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. Till this day forward. Till this day forward. You may place your ring on her finger. Now, Sister Cynthia, I don't want, want, don't want you to feel obligated that you got to go through this because he put the ring on your finger. You haven't said I do yet. <laughs> so I'm going to ask you once again, for the last time, are you willing to take this man as your lawful wedded husband? I do. Say that out loud. I do. I do. Y'all heard that, right? Hey, man, everybody here said I do. So that means next month she can come down and say, I didn't do this. Hey, man. Please repeat after me. I, Cynthia Willingham. I, Cynthia Willingham. Take thee, take Anthony Holly. Anthony Holly. To be my lawful wedded husband. To be my lawful wedded husband. To love and to hold. To love and to hold. To cherish. To cherish. I started to put another word in there, but I won't put that word in there. <laughs> From this day forward, <laughs> in sickness and in health, <laughs> until death do us part. By the authority vested in me, by the, you may place the ring onto his hand. <laughs> Therefore, by the authority invested in me by the state of Florida and the Lord Jesus Christ. I now pronounce you husband and wife. Brother Anthony, you may now address your bride. Now that you all have been united together as man and wife, the next thing that's on the program is a solo with the bride and groom. Baby, since the day you came to my life, you made me realize that we were born to fly. You show me every day no possibility. You prove my fantasies of love to really be. Let's go to a place only lovers go home. To a spot that we'll never know. To the top of the clouds we're floating away. Yeah. Ooh, this feels so crazy. Oh, this love is blazing, baby, we're so high, walking on cloud nine, so high, so high, yeah, my shoes are scraping the sky, maybe later we could go to the moon. A sail among the stars before the night is through. 
And when morning comes, we'll see the sun is not so far. And we can't get much closer to God than where we are. Amen. We'll go to a place only levels go. To a spot that we never know. To the top of the clouds we're floating away. Yeah. Ooh, this feels so crazy. Oh, this love is blazing. Baby, we're so high. Walking a cloud nine. Ooh, this feels so crazy. Oh, this love is blazing.